the Cowboys will beat the Eagles. They will beat the Eagles 40 to 10. They're going to blow the Eagles out. The Eagles offense is decimated with injuries. Both starting wide receivers are out. Deshaun Jackson won't play. Alison Jeffrey will not play either. So the Eagles are going to have to rely on their tight ends to make plays. So Earthen Goddard will have to miraculously play extremely great for them to even have a chance to win. I don't see that happening. The Dallas defense, they will double cover Ertz. So Smith and Heath will double cover him. They will neutralize him and take him out of the game. Goddard might catch a few passes here and there, but it will not be enough for the Eagles to beat the Cowboys. The Cowboys are healthy offensively. Their defense is healthy overall. I know they're missing Vander Leitenetch. I know he has that neck injury, but they'll do enough to stop the Eagles offense. And then when the Cowboys are on offense, they're gonna dominate the Eagles defense. Zeke will have a great game. He is going to have tremendous great rushing lanes. Travis Frederick and Zach Martin and Ty Smith will open up huge running lanes for Zeke. He's going to have a 100-yard 50 rushing day with two touchdowns. The Eagles front seven will not be able to stop Zeke. Zeke will feast for sure. And then when the Eagles try to stop Ezekiel Elliott, which they won't do, they will try to put multiple defenders in the box. So they'll probably have an eight or nine man front in that box area. Dak Prescott will just throw over the top of that defense for big plays. So Amari Cooper will have a great game against the Eagles. The Eagles cornerbacks will not be able to slow Amari down at all. I can see Amari Cooper having a 100 yard, 70 <coughs> yard receiving game. And I can see him scoring three touchdowns. It's going to be tough. The Eagles secondary has no answer for him. So Jalen Mills and Darby, whoever's covering Amari Cooper, is going to be in for a long day. So the Cowboys are going to run the ball, and then they're going to throw the ball to and just gash that Eagles defense. They're going to just have tons of yardage against them. Now, Dak does have a shoulder injury, reportedly. He didn't throw the ball in practice on Wednesday and Thursday, reportedly. But I think he'll be good enough to go on Sunday. His shoulder might ache him a little bit, but it's not going to ache him enough not to be able to throw that ball. So Dak's arm is healthy enough, and we will see that on Sunday. He will throw all over that Eagles secondary. So the Cowboys will dominate the Eagles. The Eagles are just too banged up offensively. Maybe they had Jeffrey... And Deshaun Jackson, maybe they'd have a chance, but I just don't see it happening. And that Dallas defense, they know they've got to hit Wentz, and they will. They're going to sack him, and then Wentz is going to create, he's going to throw for some turnovers, so he might throw an interception or two. I can see that happening. There's a lot of pressure on Wentz. A lot of people are upset with him. He's getting criticized by the media. He's getting booed by fans. And I think some of that stuff is starting to mess with his psyche. So he's not as confident as he was when he first started playing for them. I think the Eagles miss Nick Foles. I think some of that is seeping into the psyche of Wentz as well because Foles did lead the Eagles to the Super Bowl. So Foles is not there this year and I think the Eagles miss him and, they're, and the fans miss him too and they're expressing that. And that's messing with Wentz. So all that too is going to be another reason why the Cowboys will win. I mean just... On paper, the Cowboys are better. They've got the better offense. They've got the better defense. And in, in, the, in today's NFL, you've got to be able to score points, which the Eagles will struggle to do. And then your defense has to slow down the opposing team. The Eagles' defense will not be able to slow down the Cowboys. The Cowboys are just too explosive. They're too dynamic offensively. So I've got the Cowboys beating the Eagles, and then they're going to make it to the playoffs. So the Cowboys will make it into the postseason, and who knows what they'll do. Maybe they'll make it back to the Super Bowl. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. 
So, you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.